Before tonight's contest, we have a special presentation as we would like to take the opportunity to honor the 20th anniversary of your 2004 IHSAA Girls Basketball State Championship team. We would like to begin tonight by introducing team members, managers, and staff. We'll begin with Bethany Sewell Anderson. Cassie Breeze Kyle. Kendra Howard Andrews. Jenna Easterday Rupp. Riley Carr. Morgan Thomas Shallow. Lindsay Dishman Baker. Jamie Forno. Brooke Riddle Niner. Manager Lindsay Helster Unger. Manager Stephen Williams. Student athletic trainer Lindsay Bright. Head athletic trainer Christina Hughes. Volunteer assistant coach Andrea Millizer Burke. Volunteer assistant coach Randy Wynn. JV coach Jason Snyder. And varsity assistant coach Katie Felton. We would also like to recognize those team members that were not able to join us tonight. They include Leslie Cox Spencer, Randall Heidi Mallon, Courtney Felke, Aubrey Rowe, Manager Allie Hunt Rao. Freshman coach, Stacy Stasiak. And head coach, Tony Stasiak. Once again, the Lady Zebra basketball program would like to welcome back the 2004 state championship basketball team for their 20th year anniversary. goes out to all of these players, managers, coaches, and their families as we continue to celebrate the great achievement of being state champions 20 seasons ago. Our Lady Zebra basketball program wants to thank all of them for coming back tonight. The 2014 will forever be remembered by our program and the Rochester community. The road that a team travels through the tournament is never easy, and it takes a special run and a special group to be the last team standing. The run started at the Winnemac sectional with wins over North Judson and Winnemac in the sectional final. The regional was held at Rensselaer, where the Lady Zebras defeated Wheeler in the opening round, and the regional championship game, it was a nail biter with the Zebras narrowly, narrowly defeating Bremen by a score of 57 to 56. 
The semi-state was held at Plymouth where the Lady Zebras rolled to a 70-48 win over Garrett. The Class 2A state finals was played against a private school powerhouse, Heritage Christian. The Lady Zebras accomplished their mission that day by defeating Heritage Christian 50-41. The state all tournament team members included Courtney Felke, Jamie Fornell, and Cassie Greaves. Tonight, we would also like to individually recognize Courtney Felke as the all-time leading scorer at Rochester High School with 1,707 points. <laughs> Courtney not only was one of the catalysts of the state team, but also went on to be an Indiana All-Star in the summer of 2004. She then went on to play Division I college basketball at the University of Evansville. Presenting the plaque for Courtney Felke are Lady Zebra captains Ella McCarter and Riley Clevenger. Coach Katie Felke will be accepting the plaque on behalf of Courtney. Everyone, please join me in giving one big last round of applause to your 2004 state champions. gentlemen and welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's Three Rivers Conference matchup 
between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. Manchester comes in tonight with a record of 13 and 6, 6 and 2 in the Three Rivers Conference, while the Zebras come in at 10 and 9, 5 and 1 in conference play. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups first for the Lady Squires. A sophomore wearing number four, Peyton Green. A junior, number five, Brooklyn Buzzer. A freshman, number 12, Emma Walker. A senior, number 22, Gracie Lauer. And a sophomore, number 23, Hadley West. The Squires are coached by Allie Kaufman, assisted by Jen Birch, Heather Turflinger, and John Kaufman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please get your phones out and fire up the flashlights as we get ready to meet your Lady Zebras. these Rochester girls they hate to lose and that's a <laughs> that's a very good sign yeah I mean that balls yeah. up and controlled by Manchester it'll be Walker now she'll give it off over to Buzzard Buzzard will run the point she'll go right side now to West down low they go stolen by Rochester Bollinger comes away with it here's McCarter she'll look to push the basketball that was an ill-advised post pass I don't think the the post was actually looking for the no, ball. I don't think so either. Wilson has it top of the key. Wilson around the defender. Gives it off to McCarter. Into the paint. McCarter goes. Jump stop. Throws up a shot. She's going to be fouled. And the first foul of the night goes to Hanley West. And that's going to be her first. Team first. And that will put Ella McCarter at the charity strike. And a good strong drive by Ella. And West gave her a lot of body. Here is McCarter with her first free throw. In and out, no good. And she'll have another opportunity with 27 seconds gone by here in this first quarter. Second free throw on the way for Ella. Takes her time. It's up and good. This time, Zebra's 1-0 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here comes the Squires. Running the point will be Buzzard. She'll go right side now to West. West brings it back over to Ream. Ream back to Buzzard, left wing. Buzzard 
Goes into the paint. That goes down low to Walker. She kicks it back out. Almost stolen. Ball's loose. Picked up by Manchester. Buzzard left side. Three point on her way. In and out. No good. Ball still loose. And another opportunity. And that one's knocked loose by Clevenger. And she can't save it from going out of bounds. It'll stay with Manchester. Zebra's got to get those off defensive rebounds. You can't give them second, third opportunities. Yeah, Reen didn't get the rebound, but she caused enough, I guess you'd say, havoc there yeah, to, right. to where the Lady Z's couldn't get it either. It's a nice play by her. Into Reem. She dribbles in. Now they make one more pass. It goes over to Buzzer. Buzzard on the far side will dribble it back up between the circles. Rochester in their normal 2-3 zone. And out of the west in the corner. West drives the baseline, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Lauer. Lauer and the field will tie it up. Turnover goes, or the rebound goes to Rochester. Here comes the press now by Manchester. Clevenger will inbound. It's like a man press. Yep. And he'll get it to McCarter. McCarter will let everybody clear out, and she'll just bring it up herself against West. West actually backs off, lets her bring it up. 6.40 to go here in the first quarter. Zeroes lead 1-0. Horn set. McCarter, McCarter over to Clevenger. McClevenger on the corner now. Clevenger goes to Wilson. She'll set up for a three on the way, short. And Buzzard with a quick rebound, and she'll look to push. Buzzard quickly ahead. That goes to Lauer. And that's going to be a jump ball. It'll stay with Manchester. That time, Lauer almost got a uh, call for a travel. She had, I think she might have took an extra step, but she missed the free throw early. And layup. she got her steps mixed up. Yeah. And Manchester very lucky to keep a hold of the ball. Off almost Mc a clever play by Buzzard. Yeah, throws it off of McCarter's did. back. One reason why you never turn your back to the basketball. <laughs> well, it was a whole lot of nothing, and they're just inbounding from the side and center yeah. from the baseline. Now it goes to the side. Buzzer will inbound. She goes all the way across the other side to West. Three on the way. Hadley West misses, and the rebound comes away to McCarter. McCarter will be guarded by Walker in the backcourt. Now they give it up to Clevenger. Clevenger will walk it across the timeline, picked up by Ream. Now to, Mc to Wilson. Six minutes to go in the opening quarter. one nothing. still Rochester. McCarter back to Wilson. Has it knocked loose? She has to go get it. Now gives it up to Clevenger. Clevenger against Ream. Has it knocked loose out of bounds? It'll stay with Rochester underneath her own basket. Baseline right. You can tell Emma Walker's played a lot of basketball. Yeah. She's not a typical freshman. She And she's not afraid of being physical no, either for no. a freshman. It bounds from Clevenger to McCarter. Back to Clevenger. Right wing. She'll penetrate in. Kick it out to McCarter. McCarter, one dribble, goes to the left side and travels. Turn over Rochester. One point lead, uh, one to nothing. 5.40 to go here in this opening quarter. Timing on that play just a split second off. Yeah. If Aubrey had cut to the, cut so to the baseline, she would have had an open look. Buzzard has it. She goes in to Lauer. They kick it back out to West. Back to Ream up top. Buzzard left side. Buzzard trying to go down low to Walker. Can't do so, so she'll bring it back up top and reset the offense. To West, on the right wing. To Lauer, she cuts through, loses it, out of bounds. Turnover, Squires. Well, you can tell both teams haven't played in a while. Not real crisp on the little things, I guess, is, is where the big problem comes right now. one nothing, well, with almost two minutes gone, or three minutes gone by. Reaches in, Buzzard knocks it loose from Wilson. Have our first sub of the game, and that will go to Manchester, and that will bring in number 42. Schroll will come in, and sitting down will be Lauer. I think we'll see Schroll. I think we'll see Shannon. I'm not sure they'll go deeper, deeper than, than seven, seven yeah. but we'll see, we'll see those two. Inbounds comes to Clevenger. Clevenger goes to the right side, back up top to McCarter. Swings it left to Wilson. One dribble back to McCarter, or excuse me, back to Clevenger. Clevenger picks up her dribble to McCarter. 4.50 to go in the opening quarter. McCarter at the elbow. Now passes it back over to Clevenger. Back to Wilson, top of the key. I'm not sure Jaden Fields even touched the ball yet. Uh, Bollinger or Field has not. Yeah. Now they give it to Bollinger up off the glass. No good, too hard. Field with a rebound, puts it on the floor. Should have probably just went right back up with it. And West knocks it loose and steals it. Yeah, I don't know if she tried to dribble or if she just dropped the ball. There in the paint goes Ream, and it's going to be last touched by Rochester. It'll stay with Manchester underneath their own basket, baseline left. 4.26 to go here in this first quarter on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Still 1-0 Rochester. 
The inbound comes to West, into the paint, throws up a jump shot, trying to draw a foul, can't get it. Manchester with the offensive rebound, put back up and good by Walker. Two to one, now Manchester leads. Clevenger gets it into McCarter. Man press, and West will just kind of back up and let McCarter bring it across, not much pressure there. Again, Rochester defended the inbounds play really well, just couldn't get the defensive board, and Walker was able to capitalize. Halfway through the opening quarter, still 2-1. Here's McCarter, right side elbow jumper good. And now it is three to two. Rochester with a one point lead. Ream with the basketball. Now to West, swings it to Buzzard. Buzzard left side. Buzzard down low to scroll. She goes up, no good, and a jump ball gonna be called. It'll go to Rochester. Good job by Jaden Field on the other side. As she reached in there and tied it up. Heck yeah, that was a heck of a play. That was a heck of a pass by yeah. Buzzard. I don't know how she got up there. That was a perfect pass. Into McCarter. McCarter against West. McCarter will beat her down the floor now and set up the offense. McCarter, top of the key, goes to the right side, back over to Clevenger, swings it to Wilson, left wing. Aubrey with the basketball. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger, and we're going to get a reach-in foul on Ream. It's going to be her first, team second. Ladies player foul, number four. Rochester dribbling along the top of the key. They're going to have to attack a little bit. And sitting down will be West, and coming in will be... They're bringing in Sauter early in Sauter, the game. okay. Ava Sauter, number three. Field gets it in to um, Wilson, top of the arc. Now she goes around the screen by Bollinger. Gives it off to Clevenger. Into the paint, Clevenger, back to Wilson. Trying to go down low to Bollinger. Bollinger clears out of the way as Wilson goes up for a shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Walker. Walker will keep it herself. She'll bring it down. Now she'll dribble back out and give it up to Sauter. Again, an aggressive three on the way for Manchester. Short. That was Walker. McCarter with the rebound. An aggressive Aubrey Wilson's a good Aubrey Wilson. I mean, here's Clevenger, left wing, three on the way. Short off the front of the iron, bounces high in the air, and Buzzard rips down the rebound. Buzzard, top of the key. Buzzard against Clevenger. Buzzard goes around the defender, and they're going to get a three-second call three on call. scroll. Yeah, Walker was in there too, wasn't she? Yeah. Both of them. Kind of hanging out in there. And now it'll be a turnover back to Man or back to Rochester. In the last two shots, Rochester's gotten a pretty decent shots. Wilson <laughs> on a runner, and uh, Clevenger got an open look for a three. Sauter puts pressure on, kicks it out of bounds. It'll be back to Rochester, still underneath the Manchester basket. 2.35 to go. Here in this first quarter, it's three to two, Rochester leads. Into McCarter. And the buzzer might have gotten away I was going to say, Buzzard and a couple of them got hand checks or a push in the back have got away. We'll wait and see if the officials tighten that up any. And Brooklyn Buzzer's not afraid of physical play. For Yeah, here's Clevenger with the basketball. And just Top like Walker key. isn't. Against Ream. Clevenger, now we'll dribble back up. Ream knocks it loose. Clevenger has to go get it. Clevenger now off to Wilson. Wilson. Top of the key, into the paint, down low to field, 10-foot jumper all the way, good. Good looking shot that time by Jaden Field. Zebras lead by three, five to two with two minutes to go in this opening quarter. Nice pass by Wilson. And you know, Rochester isn't trying to do too much on offense, which is a good sign. Ream has it, throws it over the top, and we're gonna have a foul. And, and it's gonna be on Bollinger, kind of, uh, Trying to let them know that she's down low and as they go through. Shanup comes in for Manchester and sitting down will be uh, Walker. Manchester will inbound underneath their own basket, looking to get it in. Finally do. They get it into Ream. Ream, 15 footer good. Five to four, Zebras lead by one. Clevenger's going to have to hurry to get it in. Finally does to McCarter. That was a nice shot by Ream. I thought they were going to yep. run the give-and-go play to get the buzzer to know a corner three, but Ream just saw that Rochester had a cover, and then Ream took it herself. McCarter gives it off to Clevenger on the near side. Clevenger. Boy, Ream is a very aggressive, and now they're going to double-team Clevenger. They tip the ball, and it goes into the backcourt. Zebras go get it. Wilson with it now. Wilson, running jumper. No good, but a foul coming. And that's going to be the third on Manchester. And it's going to be on Sauter, her first. 
That will send Aubrey Wilson to the line to shoot two. With a minute 13 still to go here in this opening quarter, 5-4, Zebras lead by one. Because, you know, I, I think back, back to that McConaughey game that Aubrey had. Free throw misses. Didn't Aubrey have like 15 points in that game? A lot of them were like pull up jump shots. They were pull uppers. Yeah. A lot of 12, 12 to 15 foot shots. Uh, and I, I think if she can uh, hit a couple of those, that'll that'll lead to openings for Clevenger and even in the post for uh, for Field and Bollinger. Braylon Hunter checks in for the first time tonight, and Bollinger will sit down. Wilson makes the second free throw. Six to four now. Zebras lead by two. Minute 10 to go here in the first quarter. Buzzard with the basketball. Buzzard goes right side to Ream. Ream down in the corner, double team, kicks it back out to Sauter. Over to Buzzard, left side. She'll quickly fire a three on the way, no good. And the rebound by uh, Stroll is up and good. Stroll has her first points of the night and we're tied at six with 50 seconds to go. Wilson has it, she'll slow it down. Zebras will uh, see what they can do here with the final 45 seconds. Clevenger with the basketball. Gives it up to McCarter. She'll fire a three ball on the way. Good! Ooh, McCarter. Ella McCarter has six of the nine, and the Zebras with a three-point lead. Man, just got mixed up on, on coverage there. Uh, good screen by Braylon Hunter, but somebody didn't pick up Ella. Just yep. popped out. Three on the way for Shenup, and it's good. Two-pointer. Two Two Shenup was on, foot was on the line, so it's nine to eight. Clevenger with 12 seconds in the backcourt still. Clevenger finally gets it across the timeline at eight. Clevenger guarded by Ream to Wilson with four. Wilson has the basketball. Wilson to McCarter. McCarter at the buzzer. In and out, no good. At the end of one, Rochester leads by one. Nine to eight on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Second quarter back after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. As Manchester will start the quarter with the basketball. Buzzard has it, top the key, goes right side over to Walker. Walker goes down low to Stroll. Stroll, the give and go to uh, Walker, no good. Rebound McCarter. McCarter gives it up to Wilson. Wilson will bring it across the timeline, top of the key between the circles. Goes to the right side, now to Ella. Ella McCarter with the basketball, guarded by Buzzard. Knocks it loose, McCarter goes and fetches it down. Here's Clevenger, again guarded by Ream. Ream with some quick hands. Now to Wilson. Wilson dribbles in, throws it out to Hunter. Three on the way for Hunter, no good. Clevenger with an offensive rebound. What a lucky bounce. It was, yeah. it was an air ball, but it actually hit kind of the back side of the backboard. Right and in the hands of Clevenger. And now we're going to get an illegal screen by the Zebras. And that one's going to go against Jaden Field. Right idea, she just has to hold that screen at just a, a little bit longer. Zebra's gonna go to the bench and bring Bollinger back in and Mia Hadashel will come in for the first time. Field and Hunter will sit down. 7.05 to go here in this first half. Nine to eight, Zebra's lead by one. Buzzard goes into Schroll, back to Buzzard. Knocked loose, stolen by Wilson. Wilson against Buzzard to the hole, throws up a shot off the glass, good. What quick hands that Aubrey Wilson has. 11 to eight. Here's Walker on the other end. Walker, running jumper, good. Walker has four. And it's back to a one point zebra lead, 11 to 10. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger around the screen by Wilson. Gives it back to Wilson. Wilson. They're trying to go down low to Bollinger. Bollinger trying to, to uh, match up with Schroll. Three on the way for Clevenger, no good. Gets her own rebound and then knocked down as Reem will pick up her second foul. It's gonna be the team first of the quarter. She reamed Clevenger. <laughs> that, yes, that was yes. too easy. That was too easy. You've been full of it today. <laughs> Here is McCarter. McCarter has it, top now, the key. The thing is the shot that Clevenger missed, that was tougher than the pick and pop that yeah. Wilson passed up. Almost stolen, here's Wilson with it, back to Clevenger, an open three for her on the way from the left side, no good. Rebound pulled down by Walker. 
Walker will keep it. She'll push for the Manchester Squire. Zebras get a hand in the passing lane. Tip it away, stolen by Wilson. And now Wilson's going to be forced out of bounds. As uh, also in the Manchester lineup is 21 Stout. So uh, Coach, uh, Coach Kaufman going a little deeper than we expected yeah, here yeah. tonight. Trying to find something to work, maybe. 11 to 10 here at 5.50 to go in the first half. Give it over to West. West to buzzer, down low to Walker. Walker, turn around jumper in the paint. Can't get the roll. How to show the rebound, and now we're going to have a foul, and I believe it's going to be against West. And if it is, that's her second. It is. Her second. Team's second of the quarter. Zebra basketball. Again, press put on by Manchester. They're not really trapping out of it. I, I'm guessing it's just trying to make token pressure. Yeah. I mean, I, it's. I'm token is, yeah, I guess you. I guess. I mean, kind of wearing yourself out, in my opinion, if you're not going to trap out of it. It's just my opinion. Doesn't always mean anything. Out of show with the basketball. Goes over to Wilson. She'll fire three from the left side. No good. Bollinger fights for the rebound, rips it down, and then travels as she gets kind of tangled up between her and Lauer. And they'll call a travel, turnover Zebras. Souter comes back in and sitting down will be West. 5-10 here in the first half. Still one point Zebra lead, 11-10. Now Souter with the basketball. Souter over now to Stout. Souter. Gives it off to Walker in the paint. Walker throws up a shot, no good, but she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the charity stripe for two. That one's coming on 25 Bollinger. Her second. So Jaden Field will get ready to check back in after the first free throw. First one is in and out, no good. Jaden Field in, Bollinger out. Yeah, and I, I think that's a good move. I think I'll. Uh, Audrey's been working hard out there, and I think needs just a breather. Just yeah. had trouble keeping up uh, with Walker. Just got a little bit of a step there, but I mean, neither team's been ahead by more than three points in this game. Free throws missed again. Ball's tipped around. McCarter saves it from going out of bounds into the hand of Clevenger. Here comes Clevenger. Clevenger now gives it off to Wilson. Wilson will set the offense. One four low. Let's see if they try to get Clevenger open in the corner. They give it off to McCarter. McCarter has it now top of the key. McCarter kicks it out to Hottishell. Hottishell has it over in the far side. Hottishell. Now Mia's got to get it out of the corner quickly. Yeah, Mia's double teamed and tries to she, throw it off of Manchester and yeah, does. She gets the ball in the corner sometimes. She kind of surveys the situation. All of, all of a sudden, two people are right, right. on top of yeah. her, and she has to make, she'll be a little more decisive. Into the backcourt, they throw it. McCarter goes and gets it. Buzzard on McCarter. McCarter against Buzzard. Middle of the court. Picks up her dribble. Hands it off to Wilson. Wilson splits two defenders. Goes to field. Field. Ten footer on the way. Good. Jaden Field. Field's got four. And the Zebras lead by three. And another assist by Wilson. 13 to 10. That is the biggest lead of the game. Three. <laughs> Tied again at three, yes. Buzzard goes to the hole herself, throws up a shot, looking for a foul, doesn't get it. Clevenger with the rebound, pushes it ahead to Wilson. Wilson goes to field, and it's going to be stolen by Manchester. And now a foul, and I believe it's going to be on the field. Now she has two. So Rochester Post players with each with two fouls. And now we've got a timeout on the floor. And it's going to be the Zebra timeout. It's a full. We'll take it as well on the Rochester Glass scoreboard with 3.46 to go in the first half. 13-10, Zebras lead. Giant FM and RTC TV. 2-3 zone by the Zebras. Coach Burris not happy about something. I'm not sure what. I, yeah, I don't know if Jaden was trying to set a screen there or what was going on or she was trying to post up, but he got clogged up too, and that's... yeah. Manchester with as good of a play as it was by Lauer. They made Lauer's job a little bit easier. West into Schroll. Schroll too hard off the backboard. Rebound comes away to McCarter. Five rebounds for McCarter. McCarter will bring it up herself with 3.20 to go here in this first half. Hottishell, three on the way. Good. 
Hot in the shell, nails a three, the biggest lead of the night, now the six for the Zebras. Wow. I can't believe Manchester, either, are they letting out a shell shoot the three or do they just yeah. miss picking her up in transition? Buzzard, her pass goes to Schroll, her 10 footer is off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, it's loose, still on the ground, picked up by, well, they're gonna call a foul, a pushing foul is gonna come against Manchester. Ben Walker. And that will be Starting Walker's down. first. Walker. Aubrey Wilson pumped up. Yeah. Well, rightly so right that, now. As she won the race for that loose ball. Again, I don't know if Manchester's just told me how to show, let's see if you can beat us or, or what, but that was an open three. Here's a steal by Manchester against Clevenger. And now a foul as going to the hole was Sauter. And I believe that's going to be on Clevenger, her first team fourth of the quarter. It is Culver Academy defeating Bethany Christian, 66-29. Uh, Free throw is good by Sauer. She'll have another opportunity. Shannon back into the contest and Walker will sit down. Free throws miss, but Schroll gets the rebound. They kick it back out. Buzzard has it top of the key. Buzzard, free throw line, throws up a shot. Wilson's going to get called for a reach in, and Buzzard will go to the line to shoot two. Oh. Buzzard looking for her first points of the night, and she'll have two free throws to do it. First one is good as it just barely bounces around and falls in. 12, 16 to 12 now, our score. Well, Schroll's given them good minutes off the bench. In fact, I think ever since Schroll got put in the game, uh, Coach Kaufman hasn't taken her out of the game. Field comes out, Hunter comes in. And that was just, she was just quicker to the ball there. Yeah. Uh, going for that offensive board. Free throw on the way, good for Buzzard. She's got her first two of the night. Back to a three-point lead, 16-13. Manchester three for six from the foul line so far. Wilson will bring it up the timeline. Now she'll cross over into the middle. She'll go right at Schroll, goes up, no good. Rebound to McCarter, but she loses it as she goes back up. Turnover, Rochester. Yeah, just had it and then kind of went yeah. back up and it kind of deflected off her knee. Buzzard will bring the ball up with 2.20 to go here in this first half. 16-13, Sears lead on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Sauer has it, Sauer falls down, travel, turnover Manchester. Back to the Zebras. It looked like they had a place set up where Schroll was gonna cut from the high post yeah. to the low post. I, I'm, I'm really up. surprised Manchester has not tried to take more advantage. Schroll has a height advantage, believe it or not. But they haven't taken advantage of it. McCarter with the basketball. McCarter into the free throw lane. She kicks it back out to Wilson. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger changes directions. Goes back over to the far side. They give it off to Hada Shell. Now back to Wilson. They could put Shan up on uh, Wilson, a bit, kind of a bigger defender on yeah. Aubrey. Here is Hunter to Hada Shell into the paint. Hunter has it now from the kick out. Three on the way, no good. And the rebound comes away to Manchester. Buzzard will get it. She'll go to the hole, throws up a shot, banks it in. Brooklyn Buzzard. You can tell Brooklyn Buzzard not happy that she only has four points. She's starting to kind of take things over herself. As she's guarding McCarter now. She'll bring it up the timeline. Top of the keys, McCarter. Gets a screen from Clevenger, but she doesn't use it. And she'll go to, sh there. there's an advantage. McCarter took it right at the Schroll. And Schroll kind of turns and fouls McCarter. McCarter to the line to shoot two. That was not a leisurely Schroll. No, not at all. A little bump in the road. <laughs> <laughs> McCarter free throw on the way is good. First points of the quarter for Ella. She had six in the first quarter. Reem will come in and Schroll will sit down. 17-15, Zebras look to push it back to three here with the second free throw by McCarter. These next 74 seconds are gonna be pretty big. Free throws missed. Buzzard has it, minute 10. Buzzard, top of the key, 
Over to Souter. Souter, baseline jumper on the way, no good. And a foul coming against Rochester. And Manchester back to the free throw line. And that one's going to be whistled against Hunter, I believe. Her first. And now to the free throw line is Souter. I was going to say, I couldn't, couldn't tell. The ponytail right over the top of the number. <laughs> And Souter misses the first one. She'll have another opportunity. Got a box out Lauer here. Hard off the back of the iron. Rebound comes away to Wilson. 60 seconds remain before halftime. Zebras is one point lead to Hunter. Into the corner. Hunter will dribble it in. Now kicks it back out to Wilson. Or excuse me, to McCarter. McCarter now goes to Wilson. Left corner. Three on the way. Short. Buzzard. I think Reem might have needed a fingertip on that. Quickly ahead to Souter, out of bounds, turnover Manchester. And Walker will come back in for the Squires. 39.9 seconds remain here before halftime. One point lead, 17-16. They're looking, still looking. Clevenger gets it in, but stolen by Manchester. Put back up and shut up. Well, Shannon up with the baskets, and now the Zebras trail by one. Wilson with it with 28 seconds to go. Zebras have pretty much led the entire time until now. Here's McCarter with the basketball. McCarter to Clevenger to Wilson with 15. Wilson will dribble back to the top. Now with 12. Wilson still dribbling. Now to Clevenger, and we're going to get a quick reach in foul. And that's going to be three on Ream heading into halftime. And the fifth of the team, that'll send Clevenger. So that'll put Clevenger at the line. O'Reilly scoreless so far here tonight, looking for her first points. Nine seconds remain. Clevenger to the free throw line. First one's on the way and off the mark, no good. Right now, Rochester shooting. Uh, yeah, that is they the were correct. two for four in the first. That is the correct score. It's 17 all. Okay, was it right? Okay. Sauter missed both free throws. For okay. some reason, they yeah. counted one of them. Okay. She missed them both. Clevenger did make one, so now it's 18-17. Rochester. Here is Buzzard with the basketball. They're setting up the screen at the buzzer. No. That'll do it for the first half. The Zebras take a one-point lead. Into the locker room, 18-17 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. We come back, the halftime show being brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier. Again at halftime, the Zebras lead it, 18-17. Giant FM and RTC TV for four. this TRC matchup on a Saturday night. Here so one of the officials went over to shake Riley Carr's hand. Uh, <laughs> brought, brought back memories for him, too. Yeah. So the Zebras have it now with McCarter. McCarter down low to field. Field goes into the defender, goes up with a shot, no good. That defender was Lauer, and she did a good job of holding her own ground. Yep, Lauer just got her first rebound. West with the ball now, down over to Walker. Walker, excuse me, that is not Walker, that is Shenup. She started the second half instead. And now Walker has it. She gives it up top to Buzzard. So Buzzard. Reem, Reem not out there to Reem start the second out. half. Reem isn't out, yep. Didn't want to roll the dice. And Lauer goes up with a shot. No good. Last touched by Lauer to go out of bounds. Zebra basketball. So Zebras with their original five. And uh, the original five minus Reem and add Shenna. So that's certainly one of the big headlines so far. Lauer with zero points and one rebound. And we've played nearly 17 minutes. Here's Wilson off to Clevenger. Clevenger on the far side. Clevenger guarded by West. Gives it up to Wilson. Wilson now going to be guarded by Walker. I still like that matchup. I, I think Aubrey can take Walker. Clevenger gives it back. Has it now on the right side. Goes down low to Field. Field, turn around jumper too hard. Gets her own rebound. Field goes back up off the glass. Field. Good. Field. Six points for Jaden Field as the Zebras stretch it back to a three-point lead. Beast mode. Here's Buzzard. Buzzard called for a carry. Turnover, Manchester. And here comes Manchester in the full court press. If I were a point guard, I would hate that. Mm -hmm. That would get in my head if I got mm -hmm. called for a palming. 
especially if I felt like it just did that all the time. Over the top to Bollinger. Bollinger down to the floor and up and good to foul. Bollinger beats Shanup. Bollinger got on the backside. Shanup kind of gambled a little bit. Didn't think they were going to throw it to her. Bollinger goes to the hole and gets her first points of the night. And now she has one free throw coming. Shannon picks up her first, team first of the quarter. Oddball, speed, yeah. speed merchant. <laughs> Free throw off the back there, no good. Rebound fought for jump ball, Manchester jump basketball. Ball. Possession squires. It's okay. You'll take that, means you get the arrow back. Good effort by Jaden Field. 6.40 to go here. Now the biggest lead of the night, five for Rochester, right? No, it was six, wasn't it? Yes, six, though it's 16-10. Yep. So one we're at five now. Down. Here is Walker with the basketball. Walker over the top, it goes to Buzzard. Good job of Clevenger fighting Close through down. the flare yep. screen. Buzzard to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. Field with a rebound. Buzzard kind of floated that one in there. And she was, was also still floating. That was designed to get. And that pass goes right through the hands of Wilson. Yeah. Out of bounds, turnover Rochester. That last play was designed to get Buzzard an open yes. three point look. And Rochester worked hard defensively and helped each other out and Forced Buzzer to take a more difficult shot. 6-10 to go here in the third. Zebra's up by five, 22-17. Top of the key is Reem. Reem has it. Now they go to Buzzer on the far side. Into Lauer. She kicks it back out to Reem. To Buzzer. Buzzer splits the defenders. Goes down low to Walker up off the glass. Is good. That's something we uh, haven't seen from... Manchester, a little give and go between the guards down low. Nice pass by Buzzer. Yeah. That was a small window, and she got it there. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. She'll get it across the timeline. West picks her up. West will make her go to the right side. Now gives it off to Wilson. Wilson by, guarded by Ream. Bounce pass down to Bollinger. Bollinger turns around, squares up, misses the shot. Rebound comes away to Buzzard. Buzzard looking to push. Buzzard. Kicks it out to Ream. Ream puts it on the floor. One dribble, steps in, shoots it. No good. Rebound through the hands of two zebras, and it'll stay with Manchester. Sure, what happened with Bowling on that last possession? She, she had the move, and then she kind of yeah. dribbled back into the defense. If she had drop stepped, I think she would have had a, a, a better look than the one she wound up taking. Lauer comes out, scroll comes in, inbounds comes to the Z, uh, to Manchester. Tip field with a steal. Field against Ream, up off the glass, and good. So we've seen two post players take the ball from half court all the way down and score tonight. Coach Burris, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Buzzard. Buzzard with the basketball. Buzzard trying to make something happen. As she's hit, falls down, throws up a shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be called against Field, her third. Teams first, and we get a 30-second timeout by Manchester. 4.53 to go here in the third. 24-19, Zebras lead it. Giant FM on RTC TV 4. Well, it's been a while since seven. Since New Prairie won the girls by county. It's been a few years. Yeah, interesting. Uh, they're having a really nice year. That's a John Glenn team that uh, has shut teams down, but they're getting shut down tonight. Buzzer with a quick three on the inbound, and that is her first three of the night. She nails it. 24-22, down to a two-point zebra lead. Got to go to where Buzzer's at on the inbound. Clevenger has it on the far side. Right, Clevenger any, yeah, in the field. Buzzer. Field against West, no good. Or excuse me, field against Walker, no good. And a foul coming, and Field just picked up her fourth. Jaden Field with her fourth, team second. That's going to bring in Hottishell. Hottishell will replace Field with four and a half to go here no, in the third. It's just frustrating if you're Coach Burris because, I mean, she just got tangled up there. They yeah. had to call the foul, even though Buzzard with it. Now goes to Ream. Ream to West. Buzzard said over here, she's ready to go. Quick shot on the way, right side, in and out, no good. McCarter with the rebound. Now to Hottishell. Gives it off to Clevenger. 4-10 to go in the third. Two-point lead, 24-22. Wilson on the far side. Wilson around the screen, elbow jumper, good. Wilson, Wilson with five now on the evening. 
26-22. Here's Buzzard, gives it up to Ream. Ream has it top of the key. Ream holds, goes down low to Walker, over the top to Schroll, up and good. Schroll nice just really guarded by Hottishell, and that is a big mismatch, and Schroll took advantage of it. Nice pass by Walker, two on a high-low. 26-24. Here's Clevenger, around the top, over to McCarter. McCarter, around the screen, pull-up jumper, 15-footer, no good. Buzzard with a quick rebound, and she's looking to push. She's got a couple zebras with her heads turned, and now she'll pull up. Kick it back out. Here's Ream over to West. She'll fire a three right side, in and out, no good. McCarter tips it. Bollinger picks up the rebound. On a show, looking to push to Wilson. She'll square up for three, in and out, back in. Aubrey Wilson. And we got a timeout on the floor. 29-24, Zebras take a timeout. It is a 60 timeout. 3.03 to go to third, leading by five. Zebras up, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Yeah, it worked really well the first time. 2-3 zone by the Zebras. And it's really interesting that Lauer has not been a big factor at all in this game. She's currently on the bench. Yeah. And Here. Schroll has been, but Schroll has been really good for them. Ream right into Schroll, right off the glass. Good again. Back to back points for Schroll. And it's 29-26. And you can't double, you can't double Schroll. No. Because that'll leave an open shooter. So you just have to continue to battle her for position. Here's McCarter with the basketball to Clevenger. Three on the corner, in and out, no good. Ream has the rebound. Ream will push. Ream down the right side. Picks up her dribble over the top to Schroll. Bollinger knocks it loose. Schroll picks it back up. Now they swing it to Buzzard left side. Three good. Three point basket. Buzzard. Buzzard with three and it's now 29-29. Second tie of the game. McCarter has it. McCarter top of the key now. McCarter around Buzzard. Goes up a shot. No good but a foul coming on the closeout. And that's going to be on Schroll. Schroll picks up her second, team second. Yeah, Schroll got caught in between there. She didn't know whether to go out to Ella or to drop back yeah. and if she if she wanted to give that drop off a little bounce pass. And she got caught and she kind of nicked Ella on the arm. No, no argument there. McCarter shooting two. And first one's good. Coming back in for Manchester will be number three, Ava Souter. And West will sit down. McCarter has another opportunity. McCarter second one on the way. And no good. Buzzard with a quick rebound. 30-29, Zebra's up by one. Here is Ream, throws up a shot, no good. Walker rebound, turnaround jumper, no good. Bollinger with the rebound. She gives it off to Clevenger. Rochester look to push. Clevenger. Now to Hotta Shell. Squares up for three. Now we'll put it on the floor. Goes back over to Wilson. Yeah, Emma Walker now going to let Hotta Shell get another open look. Wilson into Bollinger. Out to Hotta Shell. Gets West off her feet. Steps in. Two on the way. No good. West recovers. Gets the rebound. Excuse me, Walker. Three on the way for Buzzard. And she left that one to hang out there. She knew that was good. 32 30. That's three threes in this quarter for Buzzard. And now Manchester with a two-point lead. Wilson just inside of three, short. Rebound to Ream. Here comes Buzzard. Buzzard with the basketball. Buzzard into the paint, throws up a shot, no good. Bollinger with a rebound. She gets it to McCarter. No numbers. McCarter, two and three, and a block oh. coming. As McCarter runs into Ream. And they're going to call the foul on Ream. That's her fourth. Team third. And now McCarter back at the line to shoot. McCarter. And that was a bang bang call. That's about as close as it gets, yeah. those block charge calls. I know they're not easy for any official. Coach Kaufman, I don't think, like the call, hoping for an explanation. Free throw on the way for McCarter. Basket's good. Checking in will be Hunter for Rochester. And West will come in for Ream as Ream uh, kind of feeling that one as uh, McCarter runner over. 
McCarter with another opportunity here with 57 seconds left in the quarter to tie it up. Free throw on the way is good. Tied at 32. 55 seconds to go. Half court trap. And a steal by Rochester. McCarter with it to Wilson. Around buzzard, layup oh. too hard. And West with a rebound. West throws it to Wilson and she's standing out of bounds. It'll be Manchester basketball. Coach Kaufman wants a timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout with 43.6 seconds to go. Tied at 32 Manchester on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Manchester will have it with 43.6 seconds to go in this third quarter. I'm guessing Coach Kaufman called timeout to try and get something to stroll or something in the, down in the paint because she knows that yeah. field comes in at the start of the fourth quarter again. So here's an opportunity to, to bang one in the paint. Stroll gets it to the free throw line. Kicks it out to Buzzard. Blocked by McCarter. Rebound to Hunter. Here comes Wilson with the basketball on the near side. Gives it back up to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key with 20 seconds. Now stolen by Buzzard. Buzzard going to the hole. Buzzard is going to be fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. And McCarter picks up her first foul of the night. And now Buzzard at the line. She is two for two on the evening. Boy, again, we saw her two years ago as a freshman, and she didn't look like a freshman, and she's just gotten better. Misses that free throw. Years, we just, she just had a feel for the game, of just a unique feel for the game. and 13 points right now for Buzzard. Again, she's just she can score from every level, and that's what's so hard. And she's a really key defensive player for them as well. 14 now after the free throw. 33-32, Manchester up by one. Zebras get it into McCarter. McCarter has it. She'll bring it up against our big, big possession because Rochester's got the next arrow as well. Eight seconds to Wilson with five. Wilson top of the key with three. To McCarter with two. McCarter to Wilson at the buzzer. No. Zebras will trail by one as we head to the fourth and final quarter. 33-32 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Fourth and final quarter coming up after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. It'll be... Clevenger to inbound. Wilson has it. McCarter, Bollinger, and Hunter on the floor. And we're going to have a foul in the backcourt. And that's going to be the first foul of the quarter. And that is going to be Souter's second. Clear at the other end. Coach Kaufman asking if she uh, sure that Wilson wasn't pushing off. Right, and that's another tough call. Yeah. Again, hand checking is in high school basketball is much much more of an issue than in college or pro basketball, especially without a shot clock. McCarter has it. McCarter on the near side. Gives it up top to Wilson. Clevenger, three, right side, good. <laughs> Riley Clevenger with her first field goal tonight. And it gives Zebras back to a two point lead, 35-33. Man, Riley's just so tough. I, you know, she doesn't get a field goal through her first three quarters, but you're not worried about her going away, you know. Buzzard has it, goes down low to Stroll, kicks it back now to the near side. They go down low to Walker, opposite side, goes up, no good. Walker gets her own rebound, back up again, no good, but a foul coming. And Mullinger is going to pick up her third team first of the quarter. And that will send Emma Walker to the free throw line. Walker has six points, all from the field. Her first free throws for the fourth quarter is good. She was now one for three. 35-34, 7 17 to go in the contest. Walker looking to tie it up again. And we are tied at 35. Here's Wilson. She'll walk it up for the Zebras at the midcourt line. Goes to the near side now over to McCarter to Clevenger. Clevenger guarded by West. That was a dangerous pass. Yeah. Clevenger still has it. Clevenger now picks up her dribble, gives it off to McCarter. McCarter. Switching defenses are, are, uh, are sw switching on the screens, and there's McCarter on a dribble move to the right. Throws up a shot and in, 37-35. That, that was a beautiful yeah. shot by Ella McCarter. Wow. Now Buzzard has it. She'll fire a deep three. Got it. She was a good five feet behind the line. 
And now Manchester back to a one point lead, 38-37. Closeout had to be better, I mean, she's just that good. Here's Wilson, top of the key. Wilson into the free throw lane, kicks it back out to Clevenger, and over to Hunter. Hunter dribbles up to Wilson at the top of the key. Wilson will fire it away, good for Wilson. Aubrey Wilson with another three pointer. Two point lead for Zebras, 40-38. Here is Buzzard good again for three. I didn't know we were having a three-point shooting contest tonight. Good high ball screen to get her loose. Wilson has it on the near side to McCarter. McCarter trying to look for Clevenger on the roll. Doesn't get her. Now she'll give it to Wilson, top the key. Now Clevenger, three on the way for her. Good. At this rate, Val, it's going to be who has the ball last and hits the three. This is as well as Rochester's executed their half court offense all year. I mean, this is not a bad defensive team. 43-41, Zebra's up by two. They go over the top to Schroll, too hard. As that pass was over the top, goes out of bounds. Turnover, Manchester. You know, the thing is, is that, you know, the first, when you think of Buzzer, the first thing you think of is point guard. But I think she's really been more effective almost playing at a, a two guard spot in this game. 60 second timeout for Manchester. 5.24 to go, 43 41. Zebras lead it. Giant FM. After the Manchester timeout, Zebras have it. Wilson will bring it across the timeline to McCarter. McCarter at the volleyball line. Jaden Field's still on the bench. McCarter. When does Coach Burris go back to her? Yeah, we'll wait and see. As Wilson gets the handoff from McCarter. 5-0-5 to go here in the contest. Two-point zebra lead. McCarter to the hole, throws up a shot, no good. Rebound comes away to Ream. Good defense by Lauer. Manchester pushes, now ahead to Buzzard. Buzzard into the paint, down low to Walker, shot up and good. Walker's got two more, and it's 43-43. Jaden Field getting ready to check in to Nick's dead ball. Wilson picks up her dribble, now to Clevenger. Clevenger around the defender, slows up his shot, partially blocked by Walker, she has the rebound. Walker, now to Buzzard. Buzzard will slow things down at the volleyball line and set up the offense. Lee Squire's really digging in defensively these last two possessions. West has it, now to Reem. Reem back over to West, right side, West holds. Now puts it on the floor, goes down low into Lauer and a foul coming against Bollinger. And now that's gonna be her fourth. So Jaden Fields getting ready to check in after the first, nope, not a shooting foul, on the floor. So Field in for Hunter. Yeah, I, I think your role with, with Audrey. Yeah, 43-43. Uh, Again, a, a, an intelligent player. She's going to be careful here. Here's Buzzard on the inbound. Good again for three. Let her get free, and she'll make you pay. 46-43. Well, this has just been a special shooting show that she's put on, and Manchester now with their biggest lead of the game at three. Wilson, now to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball, and a blocking foul coming against West. That'll be West third, team second. Team second. Zebras will inbound in front of the Zebra bench. 3.56 to go, a three-point lead for Manchester on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Into McCarter. Buzzer with up to 23 for the game. McCarter has it, top the key. McCarter dribbles right to Wilson, step back three on the way, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Manchester. Walker looks to push, she gives it up to Buzzer. Buzzard, right down the middle of the lane, gives it to Walker up off the glass, good to foul. And I believe Jaden Field just fouled out. And Field did. Field fouls out, so that will require the Zebras to go back to the bench. And that will bring in Braylon Hunter. Emma Walker to complete the three-point play. 48-43, five-point lead for Manchester. Walker trying to look to push it. And she misses the free throw. And we're going to have a foul against Manchester. And I believe it's going to be on 20, 22 Lauer, her first. Team third. So it's a five-point lead for Manchester. Is that their biggest lead? Yes. Yes. 15 points this quarter, all by uh, Buzzard and Walker. Buzzard with nine, Walker with six. Here's Wilson with the basketball. 
Wilson around the right side to Clevenger. Clevenger now to McCarter. McCarter gets a screen by Bullinger. They kick it back out. Here's Wilson. Left side. Wilson to Hunter. She'll fire a three. Good. Braylon Hunter with her first three of the night. That is Braylon Hunter's biggest basket of the season. 46 or 48 46. They throw it away. This Manchester Zebra basketball. Two point lead for Manchester. 3.05 to go. I mean, that had to have been in the scouting report for Manchester. I don't know how they left Braylon Hunter that open. McCarter has it right side in front of the zebra bench to Clevenger. Clevenger around Bollinger. Kicks it back out to McCarter. McCarter dribbles into the free throw line. Kicks it out to Wilson. Three on the way for her. Short. But Bollinger with a rebound and now a defensive foul against Manchester. I believe that's going to be Lauer's quick second one. And it's the fourth on Manchester. So Zebras will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. What a, what a reaction by... Aubrey, yeah. I mean, to know that that ball was going to be an air ball and then quickly run it down. They throw it in the backcourt. Rochester should go get it. McCarter has it. Uh, Ella kind of got away with a push in the back. <laughs> you there, think so? Buzzer. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> McCarter has it. Gives it off to Clevenger. Ball's tipped. Clevenger will battle, and it's going to be out of bounds as West was laying on the sideline. Yeah, and, and I think what Coach Kaufman's told is just uh, – if you overplay, then overplay. Yeah. Uh, and if they, but we'll, we'll have help for you. Uh, but do not let them get an open look from three. I mean, this is. Clevenger with a basketball now after the inbound. Rochester's going to turn the ball over this quarter. And that's why they've been able to stay in the game. They were down by one at the end of three. They're down, down by two. Here's McCarter. Open three. Off the mark. No good. Rebound to uh, Lauer. And Hunter is going to foul 80 feet away from the basket. It's going to be second. her second team, team number four as well. So now both teams shooting free throws the rest of the way. That was a heck of a screen by Audrey Bollinger to get Ella open. I mean, yeah. that was like a wall. She had screened off two Manchester players. Zebra's looking to put a little press on. Manchester breaks it easy. Lauer throws up a shot, a wild shot. Walker with a rebound, goes back up, no good. And we're going to have a jump ball. Manchester basketball. I think Lauer's getting frustrated herself. You can tell by that shot, that's not a normal shot that she would take. And not, yeah, she didn't really need to take it off two feet. Two point lead for the Manchester Squires. 2.07 to go. They get it into Walker. Turn around, jumper at the block. Good. Emma Walker with two more. The two girls ran the buzzard, and that left Walker open. 46 for Rochester, 50 now for Manchester. McCarter with the basketball against Buzzard. McCarter throws it to Clevenger. It's a risky pass, and it's stolen by Manchester. West has it. And now Buzzard will have it. She'll slow it up and bring it across the timeline. Buzzard on the near side. Over the top. Now tipped by Wilson. Stolen. Wilson, right hand layup up and no good. Misses the open layup, and West has the rebound. Coach Kaufman wants a timeout. Minute 23, and it's a full timeout. 50, 46, Manchester leads by one. Back with more after this, Giant FM on RTC TV. Peter nine and she yeah. had 14, so she has been great for them, but boy, that was a tough miss layup. I think, I think Aubrey was so worried about somebody kind yeah. of following her on her back that she got off on the wrong foot to go for that layup and missed. Buzzard breaks the press easily. Ream has the basketball now. Over the top to West, back to Buzzard. 70 seconds remain. West has it. Both teams in the bonus. West is double teamed. She throws it off the foot of Hunter, and it'll go out of bounds. Nope, it didn't go off of Hunter. And so now it's a turnover on Manchester. But West's reaction was on to that. It looked like she, yeah. 50-46, under a minute. Wilson with the basketball. Wilson to Hunter, left corner. Wilson drives in, or excuse me, Hunter drives in, kicks it back to Wilson. Wilson has it with 48 seconds. Hunter will fire a three for the corner, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot three. Walker going to pick up her second foul. And now Braylon Hunter to the charity stripe. Her biggest free throws of her career right here in the young career, coming with three of them. 
Yeah, and that's hard to believe because Braylon just hit a three the last possession, and yet it looked like Walker was slow on the closeout. First one on the way for Hunter. It rims in and out, no good. 50-46, Manchester leads by four. 45.7 seconds remain. Hunter will have two more. Second one on the way. That one's in and out, no good. Rochester had shot four of eight free throws in the first half. Here in the second half, uh, six so far, and they're just three of six. The seventh one coming. That one is good. Three-point game, 50-47, Manchester. Squires have the basketball. Lauer has it. Lauer, and we're going to have a kick. Yep, McCarter kicks the basketball. Right call, unfortunately the Zebra fans wanted to steal, but uh, McCarter with the kick and then was able to go get it. It'll be Manchester basketball underneath their own basket. Walker will inbound. Walker looking to get it in, into Shannon, and she's gonna be fouled and she'll go to the line to shoot two as that foul is on Wilson. And now, Molly Shenup with four points on the evening, all in the first half, will shoot two free throws. 36.9 seconds. First one is good. 51-47, back to a four-point game. West will get ready to check back in if Shenup can hit the second free throw. Free throw is good again by Shenup. 52-47, five-point lead, 36.9 seconds to go. Zebras will inbound. Manchester will not pick them up until half court. Here's Wilson against Ream. Coach Burris wants a timeout. It is a full timeout, I believe. It is. We'll take a quick 30, 34.3 seconds to go, 52-47. Manchester leads, Giant FM and RTC TV4. 52-47. Wilson will look at the inbound. Gets it in to McCarter. McCarter has it near side. Goes to Hunter, throws it away. Saved by Hunter, but unfortunately into the hands of Walker. Walker then will be fouled. And I believe it's going to be on Wilson. Will be called for the foul. And that one was tough. Yeah. So that'll send Walker to the line for two more free throws. I'm not sure what that was designed to do. 14, make it 15 points now for Emma Walker. Emma Walker, the freshman here. Coach Kaufman pulls everybody back off the line. Six point lead now for, gonna make it three possessions if she hits this one and she does. 54-47. 23 seconds to go. Coach Burris wants another timeout. I believe all he's got left is a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. 54-47, 22.0 seconds left. Last turnover was just an unforced turnover. Let's see if Lizzie's can summon one more rally here. Wilson will inbound after the timeout. Coach yeah. Burris has one more left. Gets it into Clevenger, tipped out of bounds by West. And now it puts it down even farther in the corner. Makes it a little tougher to get a good inbounds pass. Wilson looking to get it in. Gets it into Clevenger. Clevenger, one dribble, looks. Now to go to Wilson, to McCarter. McCarter volleyball line three on the way off the mark, no good. Walker picks the rebound up and they're gonna call a double dribble. I don't think she really did. It just, she kind of stumbled a little bit, but. Well, she was fouled. Yes. Yeah. That's what was, uh, it looked so, like she got pushed in the back and that's why she stumbled. 10.8 uh, seconds to go. Uh, so Hot show to inbound. On any meat field. And now we're gonna have an offensive foul against Wilson. Offensive foul. And that'll, that'll be her Wilson, fourth. Her fourth. <laughs> she pushed off to try to get open. Shannon will come in, West will sit down. Shannon will inbound. Zebra's putting a full court pressure on. 10.8 seconds to go. Shannon gets it into Walker. Walker has the basketball. She's going to be fouled, and she'll go back to the line. That one is coming against McCarter. 
her second. And unfortunately, the Zebras are going to drop their second loss in the TRC. All right, so basically Rochester's down to, will be playing more of a spoiler role on Monday night. And the result of this game will be greeted very happily in South Whitley, Indiana. Free throw is good by Walker. She'll have another one. I mean, Whitco got a big win earlier today over Northfield. Misses that one. Wilson with a rebound. Six seconds. Five seconds. Wilson with the basketball to Hottishell with two. Hottishell free throw line jumper on, and that'll do it. The final tonight. Manchester over Rochester, 55-47. Zebras lose a heartbreaker here at home. When we come back, the post-game show is going to be brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. We'll also choose the Fulton County Community Foundation Player of the Game, where giving grows. The final again on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Manchester 55, Rochester 47. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4.